Let's review how you would figure out the highest possible elevation of a hill or a mountain. So we're looking at a topographic map and we're trying to determine how high the top of this hill can be where that red X is located. So the first thing we need to do is we need to determine the contour interval. If we start on the outer line, we can see there is an elevation of zero, which means we're at sea level. As we go up the hill, we see that we're first climbing to 10 meters and then we're climbing to 20 and then we're climbing to 30. So we're counting by tens. The contour interval is 10. So the top of the hill has to be above 30 meters because this X is inside the contour line for 30. So it's got to be above 30. But it can't be as high as 40 because if it were 40 meters, we would have the 40 meter contour line drawn. So it's got to be somewhere above 30 but lower than 40. So the possible elevations of point X range from 31 meters to 39 meters. Now, if you were asked to determine the highest possible elevation, you would go with the 39 meters. Okay, that is the highest that this hill could possibly be. Let's look at another one. Okay, again, first thing we do is we figure out the contour interval. So down over here, I see 220 meters and I see 240 meters. So that tells me that we're counting by 20s. So if I want to determine the highest elevation of point X, the top of the hill, what I'm going to look for is I'm going to look at this top contour line, which is 280 meters. I know that point X has to be higher than 280. So the minimum height would be 281 meters. Now, the top of the hill cannot be as high as 300 meters because if it were 300 meters, there would be another contour line drawn. So it's got to be below 300. So we simply say that the highest possible elevation would be 299 meters. Let's try one more. Okay. So let's figure out the contour interval. And fortunately, it tells us right down here, it is 10 meters. Let's figure out the highest possible elevation of point F up here. So this line is 150. So we know that this next line would be 160 because we're counting by tens. So point F has to be higher than 160, but it cannot be as high as 170 because if it were, we would have another contour line. So the highest possible elevation is right underneath 170 or 169 meters. Okay. And we'll take a look at one last one. All right. This is the map of one of the islands that make up the Hawaiian islands. And we can see that our contour interval is counting by thousands. Let's take a look at the highest point of this peak right over here. So we know that this line over here is the 6,000 line. So 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000. So this small circle is 13,000, which means the center of it has to be at least 13,001 meters, presumably. And it cannot be as high as 14,000 because if it were 14,000, we would have another circle. So the highest possible elevation is 13,999 meters.